Hello everybody, this is Robert, back with another video. I'm just vlogging in my office right now, but I just want to talk about how to get decent audio from smartphone microphones. Of course, you know that smartphone microphones aren't really that good of a quality. So, let's talk about how to get some decent audio. Now, there, cause there's going to be t times that when you're recording a video, you want to get the uh, really good audio, but you can't buy a microphone, like a desktop microphone or a, a condenser mic or a, even a lavalier. But there are some cheap, some very cheap 3.5 millimeter lavalier mics that you can buy from Wish or Amazon for less than five dollars. So let's so let's get started. Okay, it's best to not use a smartphone microphone, but to spend a little bit more money for a USB microphone or, or a condenser mic because they're better quality or even a lavalier, like transmitter, wireless lavalier transmitter receiver. They're better quality. But if you can't really afford at least a three and a half millimeter lavalier, which is just basically a, a uh, microphone jack, well, a microphone plug that you plug into the microphone input on your computer or f smartphone, because that's what we're talking about. You can still make the most of, of your smartphone's audio pickup, aka your mic, the mic. So first, you might want to get closer to the mic than norm, closer to the smartphone than normal. I know in video it's really not that good to do that because you need a little bit of headspace, like about this much headspace, but you probably want to get a little closer because the microphone is further away from you and you won't get very good audio especially so that's that's one thing so you don't want any more than an arm's length away so that is the first tip on how to get better audio you know decent audio Second, you were probably taught in in the older days to turn down the volume when you're recording. Now, with the modern technology, that's not the case anymore. You want to turn your volume up on your on your smartphone device. That will also on the contrary, it would also bring bring up the noise floor, which the noise floor is just the bottom part where all the noise is. But you'll you'll hear it better, and if you're in a quiet environment, this will this will be enough for you know decent audio. If you're in a noisy environment, you probably would want to actually buy a lavalier or a USB microphone which you can only connect the USB microphone to the computer so make sure you turn it up to 
more than halfway, probably to about three quarters of the way. And why I'm saying this is if you turn it up all the way, you're going to start getting audio clipping, which clipping is just a technical term for distortion. You don't want any distortion on your mic or on the audio that your smartphone is capturing. So turn it up to about 75%. That's your gain. In, in fact, if it's, if it's still clipping, even if you only turn, only turn it to, to 75% of full, of maximum, then you, you want to go a little bit lower. So turn it up to no less than 50%. That's my advice to you. Turn it up to no less than 50% unless there's a lot of clipping. So that's the main tip. So, you know, get, you know, pretty close to the mic, but watch what you're doing as well on the video because you don't want to get too close. You'll get great audio, but not very good with video. There we go. There's there's my vlogging. <laughs> vlogging. Okay. So you you don't want it any more than an arm's length away. But I'm gonna bring it closer to show you. That this may be a little bit too loud. This should be decently enough. So you, so you don't want more than an arm's length away. So you can capture both decent video and decent audio. Now if you turn it too low, I'll sh show a clip of what it will sound like. Not very good quality. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me. I'll get a little closer. But this is the audio that you get when you turn the vo the volume of the smartphone gain all the way down almost all the way down so here it is I don't know if you can hear me but I'll try to speak a little softer so you'll see the difference so here we go here we go here we go here we go so not very good quality Although you get the noise floor down. Okay, you should hear me better now. The very last tip is if you you should be able to buy a three and a half millimeter lavalier mic that just plugs into the smartphone. Let me look for one and I'll show you. Now, this is that's an example. Let me turn around and show you. This is just an example of a lavalier mic that you could that you could purchase for decently cheap you can also get some from Wish for even less but of course they're not going to be as good of a quality as much amplification because that's really what you need is amplification So, here's another example. I hope this helps you to get have uh, be, at least better audio from using your smartphone. 
So, as a recap, get cl pretty close to the mic on the phone. Do not be more than an arm's length away. And make sure you turn the, vol the volume of the smartphone up to about 75% unless you get a lot of clipping. And clipping is just a technical term for distortion. And you don't want distortion either. So don't turn it down, otherwise it'll be very soft and you and you will not give very good audio. And it lastly, if you should be able to afford a decently a decent three and a half millimeter lavalier mic that just plugs into the smartphone and you have a little bit better sound and of course with the the help of the second the second tip to turn the volume up on the on the smartphone which is the gain it'll definitely amplify the sound that you need how oh, i hope this helps you have get better sound on your on your smartphone device so by the way happy valentine's day early for those who sell those who celebrate it have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye.